The Yankees signed Jorge Mateo in January of 2012. Over the last five years, the now 22-year-old has flashed all five of his tools, but one clearly stands out. Fast. I, mean, I think that's the first thing that everybody thinks about Mateo. It's just fast. It runs like a deer. Watching him run the bases and how quickly you can get around him is, is really fun. I mean, everything he does is fast. His defense is fast. He, he gets the balls like it's nothing. Um, you see him hit a ball, and it's a single, a double every time. Double's a triple, triple's a home run. Um, he hits a ball in the gap, and it's just, it's off to the races. Yeah, he gets on base, it's, you might as well just put him on third. Or he can do things on the field that 99% of other baseball players can't do. Speed, power, arm, all the above. Mateo's speed has been well documented as he stole 82 bases in 2015. His evolving potential at the plate, however, should not be overshadowed. When Jorge is going right at the plate, you know, he's a nightmare because he's got very good bat speed and he can, he can drive the ball to all parts of the field. He's just electric to watch. There's a, so many things that he does well. Uh, whenever he hits a ball in the gap, you're always thinking triple. You know, so you have to be careful about pitching him, but if you get too careful and you fall behind, you put him on base, he can steal two bases, he can steal second and third and blink an eye. You know, he swings out of the zone a little bit right now, but then again, most young players do. Whenever he gets mistakes and he puts uh, good contact on, the ball goes like crazy. I work on my step, try to get a, a stronger on my leg. So I try to, to work on my timing too, don't swing every, every ball. Try to select my pitch and try to hit it hard. He can beat a team at any given time in a multitude of different ways. Mateo was signed as a shortstop, but the Yankees are looking to make him more versatile and have given him some playing time in the outfield. Good defender, plus arm, good outfielder now. Everything about him is fun to watch. He can play shortstop, plays at uh, above average, and he plays an extraordinary center field as well. The Yankees' number four overall prospect spent the better part of two calendar years with high A Tampa. Looking at this, one would think Mateo's progress stalled, but the timetable for development is different for each and every prospect. Sometimes you get the opportunity to advance because there's just nobody in front of him. They need to move you. And sometimes they have guys there that you get time to figure stuff out. And with a guy like Georgie, you know, it just sometimes it takes a little bit longer. But, you know, they know what they have, and it's exciting to watch. He knows he has a ton of potential. He knows that he hasn't come, even come close to reaching that potential, and he's hungry. He wants to figure it out. He wants to, to gain that consistency that's going to allow him to consistently repeat at the level he's capable of. The only thing you can control is working hard, play hard, throw hard, try to throw hard every time. Try to, to help the team win. That's the, the only thing you can control. I'm hoping to send him along as quickly as possible because I, I would love to see him go to the higher levels and uh, figure out how to compete there. I, I think he's ready, and uh, it's just a matter of time before he gets that opportunity and proves to guys at the higher level what he can do. On June 27th, Mateo received the inevitable promotion to Double A Trenton. Through his first 12 games with the Thunder, the speedster was hitting 435 with 16 runs scored, 9 extra base hits, and 15 RBIs. Jorge Mateo continues to show flashes of brilliance, and once he finds a way to consistently perform at the elite level he's capable of, the sky's the limit for the five-tool prospect.